Downtown Covington is bustling with artists and engineers preparing in the final hours before Blink. If you didn't see it two years ago, you really are in for an experience. This year, bigger and better than before. Some murals are getting final touches. Towers going up along Madison Street will power all the light attractions along the main thoroughfare. A lot of us actually went to the uh, show two years ago. and We were just quite simply stunned by it. Covington officials excited to take part in this one of a kind experience. Spending months mapping out parking, traffic and bus routes to make things run as smoothly as possible. Our message to people is expect congestion. Covington police say they've been in contact with their counterparts across the river. Cincinnati has dealt with this once before. We want everybody in uniform. We want everybody to be able to see an officer out there. Meaning extra officers on the streets. Some standing guard overnight to make sure the displays aren't touched after hours. It was a struggle to staff, um, but this is something that the Cincinnati Chamber is taking care of, so it's not falling on the city. It's all hands on deck for a city smaller than Cincinnati, but still prepared to be on the big stage come Thursday. Our goal is to make sure everybody has a good time and everybody stays safe. Now, the Roebling, of course, one of the big attractions this year. Also, several of those buildings there along the river will be featured with some different light art shows. Covington police compared this to kind of a Riverfest type event. They, of course, have handled large crowds before, but this will span a larger area and will be mostly foot traffic. They do tell me that one thing you will not see this weekend is scooters. They are discouraging people from riding those throughout the crowd. Reporting live at the Roebling Bridge, Molly Lair, WLDBT News 5. Molly. Molly.